there's the view of eternalism. Eternalism, that means uh, you have a soul that is eter eternal, and after you die, that soul uh, remains intact and go to another body and continue like that, that is uh, eternalism. And then the, the, the other extreme is that uh, after you die, well, there's nothing left. Nihilism. Uh, and uh, uh, nirvana is the extinction of these two, these two views, uh, nihilism and, um, and uh, eternalism. And uh, even in, uh, in, in, in the life of a person, in the lifetime of a person, uh, when you grow uh, 10 years old, uh, you are no longer the same um, with uh, you when you were five. So you are five and you are 10. You are neither the same nor a different person. So the notion of same and difference uh, should be trans transcended also. So if you don't see that kind of light, you don't really understand the rebirth in Buddhism. Uh, you, may, you, may, uh, you may get caught in the view of etern eternalism. And uh, you are not different from, uh, from uh, traditions who, 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 who hold a view that uh, there is an immortal soul. Uh, in the light of uh, the teaching, everything is impermanent. Nothing in the five skandhas can remain the same, exactly the same, in two consecutive mom moments. But nothing is lost. Uh, and, and, and creation in Buddhism means uh, manifestation. And from nothing you cannot become something. So creation, if you look deeply, it is uh, really a continuation of manifestation. If you don't manifest in this way, and then you manifest in that way, like the cloud and the snow. So if you get that, you are no longer afraid. And that is uh, your 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 supernatural power already if you have non fear and then and then you are quite different from from other people because they are subjected to fear fear of uh, dying fear of uh, being nothing but with non fear in you with that uh, deep uh, uh, wisdom in you uh, you become supernatural <laughs> You are no longer a mortal, but you, are not a, you don't need to be a god because uh, uh, a god is supposed not to be a human being. So to say that uh, uh, the Buddha is, has a supernatural power, that is true also. But he does not need to be a god in order to have that. He needs only to have freedom, freedom from wrong views and freedom from fear. It's like uh, birth and death are like waves, and you are riding on the waves of birth and death, and you go uh, without fear. It's a wonderful, that is super, uh, supernatural power. And the Buddha did not encourage his, his uh, disciples to perform miracles. He said the greatest miracle is the miracle of uh, uh, teaching and transforming uh, people. And that, uh, that is a miracle that he, he do every day. <laughs>